All right, thank you, John. Yeah, Joan Ruskamp is here again from Dodge. She's going to demonstrate how to make a bacon-wrapped meatloaf. And this smells and looks amazing. We'll show everybody in a second. But first, you're going to show us how you make it. Right. Uh, is this your own recipe? It is. And I, you came up with I it. tried it out on my husband a few times before mm -hmm. I kind of perfected what we thought it would be. And he's like the world's greatest food critic, so he's a really good person to try it on. Other than children, yeah. sometimes husbands can be really great critics. He tells you honestly. <laughs> he is honest. And so you have to take the good and the bad, right? That's right. The good thing is if you're trying to improve something, then yeah, then finally you get something you love. So, All right. So how um, does this work? Great. Work. So what I start with is I start with a loaf of bread or a slice of bread. Just one slice? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, one slice per pound of, of hamburger is what I usually do. And then I just pour like milk or water. If you want to pour that in there, I'll let you add the ingredients first. You don't rip up first. the bread yet? Nope. We just soak okay. it. So we just let that soak. Okay. Um, and I'll just poke that down in there. And we just let it soak a little bit. And then we're going to sprinkle in everything else in there. Okay. And then we'll put the hamburger on top. So some onion. Yep. All right. Um, and so all of these ingredients are pretty simple. It's a pretty simple meatloaf recipe. You could, if mm -hmm. someone has their own favorite meatloaf recipe, they could just adapt um, using the wrapped bacon around it. And this was mustard? Um, that is an egg. And oh, that was an egg. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. You want to beat that <laughs> egg before you put it in so it's really stirred up. I know, it could be mustardy too, right? I'm used to right? putting some mustard in sometimes. And then well, ketchup. Well, it's hamburgers, so we often put mustard with hamburger, right? <laughs> ketchup. And ketchup, yep. Um, and then okay. a little bit of salt and pepper too. Alrighty. And then um, we when go. we add the meatloaf, this the the most fun part about making meatloaf is mushing all the ingredients together. And so if you, I brought you a pair of gloves if you want mm -hmm. to do all the mushing. Okay. Um, this is one pound. You can easily double this recipe. Mm -hmm. um, if you have big eaters. Yeah, if you have a larger family or if you want to make a, more for leftovers, because mm. leftovers are always really fun. Yeah. And you okay. just mush all that stuff together and take out any okay. stresses for the morning or anything oh, yeah. like that that you might have. Yeah, I, you knew I was running a little late today, Joan. You saw you me know, in the bathroom. You know, you're a mom with kids, and <laughs> what I love about this recipe, because when our kids were growing up too, we're, it seemed like we're always running to another activity mm -hmm. in the evening, and I just hated to have them rely on the concession stand for their supper. Yeah. And so this recipe allows you to make like a meatloaf sandwich Ooh. easier. Regular meatloaf often crumbles when you put right. it on a bun, but with the bacon wrapped around it, you can slice it between each one okay. and then do it. So then you're going to pick it all up and kind of like a mold, okay. and then we're going to lay it along the bottom here in kind of a loaf shape. On the bottom, okay. Yep, and just kind of spread it out like a loaf. All right. Yep. All right, and then we're going to just sprinkle the brown sugar on the top. Mm -hmm. A little bit more meat there. Okay. The brown sugar adds a little bit oh, of sweetness. Oh, yeah. My mom always adds that, Okay, too. and then what we're going to do is just pick up the bacon. Mm -hmm. And roll it. Yep. I'll hold that I'll down. hold the foil. There you go. And we're just going to oh, tuck yeah. that in and just keep rolling it around. There that you go. That does make you it easier, it. yeah. And then slide it to the middle. Okay. And I don't like cleaning up a lot of mess either, mm -hmm. so make sure, and then bring your foil up. And make sure on the ends that you pleat them really good and fold it over so that, that any juices stay in there. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm not really fond of cleaning up pans. I don't know if you like doing that either. But this, this works really great. And then just fold one time over on the top. Okay. Bake and it, that's for it. Three, at 375 for 45 minutes. And then you're going to just open this top piece like so. Mm -hmm. Bake it another 15 minutes so that bacon gets that? browned. Mm -hmm. And then you're ready to eat. So a one hour cook time. All right. So we have the finished loaf over here. All right. We made fresh this morning. Slide so this that's in. what you've been smelling today. Oh, yeah. And so with those six slices of bacon, it's pretty easy just to go through and slice one at a time. So kind of um, cut between the bacon? You can. Then you can get a little bit smaller piece, too. OK. Um, the really great thing about beef is that it has, it's a great source of 10 important mm -hmm. nutrients. The, Ooh, we yeah. all know about the iron and the mm -hmm. protein and the zinc, but you know, the B vitamins are missing in a lot of diets today. And so it's really important that we try to encourage people to add beef to their diet. That mm -hmm. is about a size of 20 grams of protein. So you're getting a really nice dose of protein there in your mm -hmm. diet too. Really good. What do you think? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, I if you wanted to add cheese or something for a sandwich, you can be creative mm -hmm. with it um, in making a sandwich. But I think besides a dinner with maybe some little baby red potatoes and mm -hmm. some asparagus right now is starting to grow. Yeah. So things like that would be a great treat. No, I love meatloaf sandwiches too. Put a little mayo on it. Yeah. You're yeah. good. All right. Yeah. Good for busy moms. Thank you, Joan. You're welcome. Yeah, Thank back you. Back to you, Joan.